Welcome to the program. I'm your host, Neil Howard, here on Health Professional Radio. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment. In this segment, we're going to have a conversation with Dr. Richard Johnson. He's joining us here from the Gout Education Society, and he's going to talk about his new book, Nature Wants Us to Be Fat. His book explains how uric acid may be the key to fructose negative health effects. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Johnson. Thank you for taking the time. Hi, Neil. It's great to be on your show. Uh, It's a real pleasure. Well, give us a bit of your professional background and uh, talk about being a board member at the Gout Education Society, if you would. Yeah, so I'm a physician uh, who, I'm a professor at the University of Colorado. Uh, I've been doing research for over 25 years, uh, focusing on uric acid as well as sugar. And, um, And I'm on the board of the Gout Education Society because of my research on uric acid. And, uh, you know, most of us think of uric acid as the cause of gout. Mm -hmm. And so everybody has some uric acid in their blood. And when you eat certain foods, your uric acid levels can go up, such as with sugar or with uh, what we call high purine foods. And so when the uric acid goes up, it can crystallize uh, in the joints to cause a really painful joint pain called gout. And so uh, that is what uric acid is most known for, is for its association with gout and being the cause of gout. And there are over 6 million people suffering from gout uh, in, in uh, the United States. Uh, you know, our, my interest was in the fact that uric acid is also, you know, associated with high blood pressure. A high uric acid is associated with obesity and with diabetes. And for a long time, it was thought that it was just associated, but did not have much of a causal role. In other words, people who are overweight or diabetic might get gout uh, because they're more prone to hold on to uric acid. But our research actually shows that uric acid, especially when it's inside the cell, seems to drive high blood pressure and obesity and um, diabetes. It actually has uh, an important role in causing these diseases. And we, we, uh, our research worked on, uh, you know, tried to identify why that was. Mm -hmm. And what we found is that animals regulate their weight perfectly. But when uh, an animal recognizes that it's going to be in trouble, like uh, winter is coming, they will, they will suddenly change their, their behavior and they'll start gaining weight and they'll start, uh, you know, preparing for winter and they'll put on fat. And, and when we were uh, studying this, we discovered that uh, the main food that they use is fructose, which is present in sugar. Mm-hmm. And, and that the way it works is that the fructose produces uric acid inside the cell, and the uric acid affects our energy levels. It actually goes into the uh, energy factories that are producing our energy and suppresses the energy production. And when it, that happens, we, we get hungry, and we, we feel like there's not enough energy around. And what we, instead of... Uh, and so we, we, we get hungry, we start to forage for food, and, and it turns out that fructose is a, is a biologic food that, uh, that biologically triggers a switch for us to gain weight. Mm-hmm. And when we started studying this, we realized that, um, that a lot of foods can be used to produce fructose in our body. We don't have to just eat sugar. We can produce sugar. And we can produce fructose from like high glycemic carbs, like bread and rice and potatoes. And we can also uh, produce it from real salty foods. And when we do this, the uric acid goes up inside the cell and some of it spills into the blood. And uh, and the uric acid uh, activates its magic to try to get us to gain weight. So it turns out that, um, that there is an association of sugar with obesity and sugar with diabetes. And there's also an association of uric acid with uh, obesity and diabetes. 
and the two are linked through a, a actually a causal pathway. So uh, you know when it, it turns out to be a pretty big story, and um, the uh, the uric acid actually also activates other processes, including causing a rise in blood pressure and stimulating inflammation uh, and a variety of, of, of mechanisms. And it's important in a lot of diseases. It's not just important in gout, but it even has a role in things like cancer and dementia. So the book I've written, Nature Wants Us to Be Fat, uh, discover, you know, describes our discoveries uh, as it related to uh, uh, trying to figure out what causes obesity and diabetes. And it, I think it's very, uh, should be very helpful for people because uh, it, it really explains that there's, you know, good carbs and bad carbs, good proteins and bad proteins, good fats and bad fats. And even the way you eat the food can make a difference. So um, if you eat it fast, you actually can trigger this biologic switch easier if you eat wrong food, um, and uh, but if you eat it slowly, you you may not. You mentioned animals regulating their weight uh, perfectly. Right. Um, when they're when they're going to be in trouble, such as winter time, they I guess they switch on. Does the human animal also have this this like switch? Why do we not turn it on and turn it off as the other animals do? Well, we do. So this was the big discovery. So when we discovered that animals use a switch, a biologic switch to turn it on, and they do it by eating or making fructose, then I, we started looking at people. We realized that we're eating sugar so much that we are kind of like constantly turning on the switch. And there are other foods, too, that can activate the switch. So you don't have to just eat sugar. So uh, it turns out that a lot of the foods we love, uh, we love it because our body wanted to uh, store fat uh, historically because of the fact that fat often may, uh, provided a survival benefit. So we even found that there was times in our past where, um, where we were in trouble and almost our species almost went extinct, but there, uh, we had mutations occur that allowed us to survive, that worked on the switch. So for example, uh, all humans have a higher uric acid than other mammals because there was a mutation that occurred 15 million years ago that allowed us to have higher uric acids. And that happened at a time where there was a huge famine that lasted for several million years and, and actually drove a lot of species to extinction. And uh, it was basically global cooling, believe it or not, not global warming. Um, there was another time, the, the vitamin C mutation that we that occurred around the time of the dinosaur extinction actually occurred in our ancestors. And, um, and that uh, mutation also, um, the loss of vitamin C actually increased the ability of uric acid to, to um, activate this biologic switch. So we, we are prone, we are very sensitive to sugar uh, and we're sensitive to, we have higher uric acids than most animals. We get gout more easily, but we also um, are able to activate this switch very easily. And we're eating tons of food. Sugar is in processed foods. Um, high fructose corn syrup also has fructose in it. And boy, that's in so many foods like 70% of processed foods. So we're being exposed and we're activating the switch. And also uh, some of these other foods that can activate the switch, we're eating a lot of salt and eating a, a, you know, a lot of foods like um, potatoes and rice and so forth. And, and these also can trigger this, this switch. So uh, it turns out that um, a lot of current diets, like low-carb diets and Intermittent fasting are great approaches to, to, to blocking this switch, but there are other really clever mechanisms that, you know, also work, like drinking uh, eight, six to eight glasses of water a day. It's not a, a myth. It's fact that it will benefit you. Um, and, and so, you know, our, my book goes into all of these 
different kinds of um, approaches and and how we can learn from this switch, you know, from this science, you know, how to stay healthy and how to avoid getting these diseases. Well, if you would, give us uh, some web resources where we can learn more about you and about your book uh, and also possibly learn about The Sugar Fix and another of your publications, The Fat Switch, as well. Yes. So I do have two other books, uh, but the, this current one, Nature Wants Us to Be Fat, kind of uh, summarizes uh, the current state of the art knowledge. Uh, and most of our science has been published in really top journals. Um, so anyway, so uh, my website is drrichardjohnson.com. Uh, there's also the Gout Education Society website, goutteducation.org. And then, uh, uh, you know, you can get uh, my book, Nature Wants Us to Be Fat, uh, through almost any book bookstore. Uh, and so uh, I hope that you guys... Uh, Enjoy this, and uh, and you can learn from this on you know the breakthroughs on on what actually is driving obesity and diabetes, and the um, un, unexpected benefit of of uh, lowering uric acid on on these conditions. Well, I appreciate you joining us here on Health Professional Radio. Thank you so much for your time, Doctor. Thank you, Neil. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Richard Johnson. Audio copies of this program are available at hpi.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.